Hi. How, how you doing, Dean? Well, how are you? I'm doing good. Hi, everyone. Introduce the world to our lovely new co-host. Crystal. How you doing, okay. Crystal? Good. How are you guys? We're so excited because we're talking about Comic-Con today. This is yeah. awesome. We had a great weekend. We're all, like, have colds now. <laughs> Shaking everybody's hand. But, um, oh, man. Where do we begin? I guess we're going to start with cosplay because that's how we met Crystal. Yep. Yeah. Um, I cosplayed as, on Friday as uh, Poison Ivy and on Saturday as Storm from the X-Men movie. And I got to meet a lot of famous cosplayers like Yaya and just Kaneri and I fangirled like crazy. Uh, I even have like my print. See, I'm like not kidding. <laughs> um, I know I'm a little kid. Uh, Yaya was great. She uh, featured on Saturday her Assassin's Free cosplay for the new um, uh, Chinese uh, female assassin that they're uh, putting out that Ubisoft's doing. And Ubisoft even like congratulated her and did this whole thing about how perfect it was to the character. And I'm just like, yes, you're a goddess. <laughs> so, I mean, the cosplay was just insane. I mean, there were you're so still many going through costumes. it. You're still going through convulsions. <laughs> She's a goddess. Like I can't. You don't even understand. Like, you, ugh. It was perfect. It was ugh. <laughs> um, That's there awesome. were so many different cool cosplays around. Everyone was just on their A game. I mean, Saturday was just ridiculous. I swear. Like there were just so many, so many villains out. So many unique stuff. I even saw Flo wandering around. Yes, the progressive Flo. And it. I thought she was real. I think I cried. <laughs> <laughs> you poor thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dean, what was your take on the cosplayers this year? Any difference between this year and last year? Um, I, yeah, I saw a lot less Batman. <laughs> you know, it was uh, this year I saw a lot of Deadpool. Every possible Deadpool. I saw a zombie Deadpool. I saw a gangster Deadpool. I saw... Matt Smith Deadpool from Doctor Who. Um, I saw uh, several Jokers, a couple of Penguins, and again, the most, the two I saw the most of was Deadpool and Doctor Who's Matt Smith. The uh, what number Doctor was that? Oh, eleven, know. number eleven. Mm -hmm. Females, um, a lot of um, Catwomen, Black mm -hmm. Widow, and Harley Quinn. Um, there was that one Jessica Rabbit that you took a photo of, mm -hmm. and there was also um, a lot of uh, steampunk and, of course, zombies. Right. Lots of zombies. And you know what I'm going to do while we're talking about different things, um, and we promise this to all the fans and all the new fans, hopefully the new fans that we've, um, we've, we've made during the last couple of days, to show some pictures from Comic-Con from the Sonic Eclectic, the Eclectica perspective. Um, this was from the Skybox. Um, we got some Batgirl. So we're just gonna keep showing different pictures um, throughout throughout what we're talking about. So, so the pictures might not coincide with what we're saying, but we just want everybody to get that experience. So, um, But the first thing is, as soon as you walk in, you notice there was a huge poster of Constantine. What, yeah. Are you guys ready for Constantine? Yeah, October twenty fourth. <laughs> Let's do it. They, they showed the uh, pilot mm -hmm. on uh, Sunday, there. And what what's your take on it? Well, I don't know. I was stuck in another panel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, that's. I, it was, remember earlier in the year, I said that was my concern. It was going to get right. bigger and bigger. Right. And of course, the bigger it gets, the more things they throw at you. It was crazy. Only, even though it's like a seven-hour thing, right. there's going to be conflict of schedules. Right. You know? So, and you know what that means? Yeah, if I'm talking to the great Adam Hughes... Which you were. ...who, who said we will be on our show, mm -hmm. and that's a big coup, I cannot leave Adam Hughes while I have him to go jump into another panel. Right. You know? Right, definitely. Um, there's only so much you can do. That is true. Um, I liked, and I tried to take as many pictures as possible, um, talking about the cosplayers, creativeness, like 
there's this one woman that she was like a um, steampunk Wonder Woman. Yeah. I thought I thought that was awesome. She was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, there she is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she was really good. Um, there was tons of that. I mean, um, things I just didn't think about. Yeah. Before. The steampunkers were good. Um, well, did you see that kid who was Mojo Jojo from the Powerpuff? <laughs> no, oh my I God. didn't. I, I got. I, I'll, I'll give you the pictures at the end of the week. I, I took. What happened was my digital ran out of juice and had to run out and get one of those Instamatics. Right. Yeah. You know? So I'll give you the film. We're going to show a lot more next week. There's just so much to talk about. I don't think we'll cover everything in the time we got. Right. But there was also uh, this one other little kid. He was amazing. He had a. He was as uh, Grimlock from the Transformers. Mm-hmm. Ah. And it was like a. He wrote cardboard box. But then when he, he would tilt his head and he turn his hand and he would transform like something would flop over <laughs> the dinosaur. Then he would flip it back and he beat the robot. Oh man, if there was any prizes, that kid should have got it. Oh man. I nearly freaked out when I saw the Danny Phantom cosplay. They had Danny Phantom and his girlfriend and Amber and another one of the ghosts, and they were just on point. When I tell you, I was just freaking out. It was so good. Oh. And it was a girl, too, who was cosplaying as Danny Phantom. It was great. Gender Ben. Oh. Awesome. Just and, there were, and then you saw all the anime? A lot oh, of anime. Oh, my gosh. Yoko. There was great. Oh, the Naruto cosplays were just crazy this year. Oh, my gosh. I saw this one Hinata. Oh, just like they had the lines on the face like everything the scars just it was just it was perfect and I'm, I'm gonna try to do this and if we don't mention you it's not that we don't care or don't like you we're, we're trying to cover it as much as possible but a shout out to um steam egg cosplay trap petals cosplay little star wing Alyssa Lovely. So, uh... Here's Alyssa Lovely, right here. They, oh, there you Wait, wait, wait. Let me get that. Bam. There you go. You got it? Got it. Got it. Gonna she's try to... Try to throughout the show. Solo. She's also... Abin Sith and Old Lace. There it is. Oh, wow. And I think we got a picture when, when that comes up again. Um... But yeah, it was great. Um... I like the fact there were a lot of older cosplayers this time, like considerably yeah. older, which I thought was amazing. Okay. So there, there really is, I'm, I'm, and I'm talking about like 70s, 80s, which yeah, was Yeah, I saw awesome. this old woman playing as um, Kitara the Avatar, um, the older <laughs> grandma, like as older, and she was, she was killing it. And then another older woman who was doing Phoenix, and I swear this woman was not given anything. She did not. She was loving her spandex. She was having the time of her <laughs> life. I was like, "Go, power to you, please." Yeah. <laughs> when did you first get interested in cosplay? Um, I, I've loved cosplay. I've always like, you know, I'm the type of kid who's like dress up, yay, but I'm not the girly dress up. I was always dressing up like, you know, video game character Soul Calibur. I wanted to be. Uh, tacky i would like wear masks over my mouth and pretend i was a ninja <laughs> and it just kind of progressed into being this now wow. ninja <laughs> ninja girl <laughs> yeah, always always <laughs> and she's a mis- mixed martial artist too throw that um, out there did you, were you yeah that reminds me um i know in san diego they had the problem and this year in New York, they put a sign up about harassment. Did anyone bother you? Um, there were a couple people who kind of, uh, you know, over squeezed their hug a little bit, or like, you know, they're they want to get more pictures. This one guy wrapped his arms like around me and was hugging me like a teddy bear, and I was just like, okay, thanks, <laughs> bye. <laughs> but nothing too serious. I mean, you get some people who follow you around for a while, but. No crazy problems. I'm glad that they did that, though. They mentioned something like that, because it's been, sometimes it gets pretty bad, like in the past. 